Hi YouTubers, Charlie Tango One here yet again. <coughs> Still got this <coughs> tickly cough. Ah, oh, I think it's the 10th of January 2017, and today what I'm going to try and do. Let's tell you this out again. This here is what um, I'm going to make for a friend over the other side of the pond. Bring it up close so you can see. This is what I'm going to make for you. Um, but I'm going to have some different uh, poppets on here because I don't know the exact length of his... Um, have we got the way back here? There we go. I don't know the exact length of uh, from here down to the blade on his uh, hatchet. This one is, uh, as you can see, they're fantastic little hatchets. They are most expensive. I think this is about seventy pounds. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I don't know what that is in dollars, but nevertheless, um, I watched a video of his last night. Um, the ticking you can hear in the background is um, a timer because I've worked out that after about half an hour um, suddenly uh, my videos stopped and I'm going in somewhere else so what I'm going to do uh, I'm terming this as part one and and each thereafter will be part two three or however many it is um, so <coughs> excuse me that's what I'm going to be doing I saw a video of his last night um, I'm trying to keep this in video shot so you can see what I'm doing let's turn it this way I'm just squaring off the end at the moment um, and uh, apparently he's just he's just got this uh, hatchet um, I don't know if it was a, a gift or, or whatever I can't recall now but anyway uh, that's what he's that's what he's got uh, you're not going to see my ugly mooey, hopefully. <laughs> so, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to... Um, I'm just going to um, talk you through it, so to speak. We're on there, nine inches. And I'm hoping that's going to be enough for that one, actually. the bend don't we yep nine inches <coughs> so I put that on that handle that keep that there so let's move that out of the way for now because I'm not going to be needing that at the moment uh, this I'm making this uh, hatchet cover for hang on let's uh, God I keep forgetting his name um It'll come to me in a minute and suddenly you and me burst out his name where I've remembered. But uh, this is where we're going at. Let's have a look at that then. Let's, let's cut that off there. Seems like a lot to go. Let's see. And uh, I've all got something. I've sent him something to him already. That, uh, yeah, the video that I've done of that knife, he says he's got a knife identical to um, the sheath that I just made for a, a friend. Um, so I thought, oh well, okay, fair enough, then I'll, um, I'll do the same now. Um, I'll just make another one. Now I'm not going to do this completely up to, um, to the top. So, best thing to do there. Is. A lot of this is thinking out loud. I'm going to bring that down lower and then I can, yeah, at least I know I can stitch off that end. It's uh, you've got to be patient when you're watching someone do something because they're thinking it through as well. <clears throat> if I've not got very far on part one, I should just um, 
get near there. Now switch that off and then I'll, I'll, I'll whack through a bit more and then talk you through what I had done. So um, without further ado, let's, let's get on instead of keep rabbiting. I want that down there, so I now want that. What's the measurement of that? I want to cast my mind back to when I made mine, and it, it and it was a long time ago. So we're looking at about four and a half inches. If we do four and a half inches, we can't be far out, can we? Four and a half inches. That can come down lower. A lot lower actually. That's it. Put the and the reason I put the rivets in here is so when you put the hatchet in you don't cut the stitching. That's that's why I, uh, I do that. E easily done. Um, and, uh, that's going to go in there. There. Okay. I am going to mark that out. This is the underside I'm doing anyway, um, so that's that's going to be well wide from there anyway. This is where the blade's going to be. Um, over to there just trying to think which way I've done this now to be on the safe side I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that that's how that's the angle that's that angle which is going to be down here actually right okay yeah that's fine turn it over there as much as I can going to go on there okay. Um, right, so what I'm going to do with that is, yep, I'm going <coughs> to marry that up with that and cut that piece. Sorry, I, I'm still open, I'm in camera shot. I've got to try and keep it this way. Right, let's um, put another line down there. I can now cut that one. That's it. Take that piece off. Four and a half, then we know where our middle is, don't we? Four and a half, and like so that's going to fold over to there. Yeah, that's going to be about right. Good. And what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to thin a little bit of this leather off to, to take this this stud. Because um, this press stud, because uh, 
the thickness of that leather at the moment, um, the tail end of the tail end of this on the back uh, doesn't come through the leather, so I've got to shave off a bit so that it does, so that I can put the back piece on. So I'm going to now. Yeah, I'm going to cut that, but I'm going to go straight from that point. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go from here. Hang on, let's go to my four and a half inch part. Where are we? Let's put that in there. So we know where we are. That's it. Take that blade. Oh, sorry, that was out of camera shot there. I'm just cutting off this here, which is the blade area. And I'm going to go straight there. Oh, like so. Same again. <coughs> I can get me uh, now. This is coming out a bit thin, a bit. one now. Two bits of waste there. <coughs> right. Looks very low that piece, a very small but should be sufficient for that to go in. She looks like it is. And now what we're gonna do Right, just thinking of uh, different thoughts there. Sorry about that, people. <coughs> it's got that there. That's how I'm going to do that. And now, what I want to do is I want to stitch that on there. Right there. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna come up like that on that one. Come a bit lower so we can get that in. Right. Right, ten minutes gone so far. <coughs> Let me see now on the 
I just can't make up my mind whether that's too small or not. It's not too small, but yeah, right, I'll go with it. I'll go with it. And see where we go from there. Um, so first thing I want to do now is yeah, that's okay. Wondering if I can thin that down. Let me see. I need to thin it on one piece, and I that piece there. Let's slacken that off a bit. I'm just looking. I'm just altering my splitter at the moment, in case you're somewhere I'm out of ca camera shot. But. Um, Oh, that's too slack. Let's tighten it up a little bit. Oh, not enough. I'm having to take this off a little bit. Of, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> a little bit at a time. Otherwise, um. Plus the fact because it's quite wide, oh dear, oh, it's a bit of a job to get off. But uh, we will endeavour and we hopefully will succeed. Tough old bit of leather there. So what I'm going to do, as I usually do, coming back in your camera in a minute, mate, is because it's uh, it's wide, and I've only got a, a six-inch splitter. Um, therefore, because it's only a short piece of leather, I'm having to um, pull it through in bits. But we're getting there. And because it's only short, I have to grip it with a pair of pliers. <coughs> you will see what I'm doing in a minute. Um, but as I say, I'm just uh, whew, thinning off this leather because I think it's too ah, there we go. That might do it. Go a little bit more now. Oh, oh I slipped off. Not to worry. Oh, get a piece, I will do it. Oh, this bit here. Use this bit now. Oh. Oh. How many people think I'm mad? There you go. What I've been doing, out of camera shot, is taking slithers off like this from the back of that. So now what we have, 
Oh, we have something considerably thinner. Oh, I wish I had a pair of lungs instead of one. Makes me puff and blow. Right. My next little thing I'm going to do. Yeah. Whee. Is I'm going to put a stitch room in. Uh, dear, dear, dear. But I'm not going to go right to the bottom. Because I'm going to go this way. Keep taking it out of camera shot. And I'm going to go along here. Hope you can see this. Oh, this is stitch groove um, but on some of my work it's just a uh, cosmetic to make it look nice when it's um, finished you know what I mean so that's that done now what I'm going to do how much time we got? Five minutes. So I'm just going to get me um, <coughs> slab of marble out. Ooh, heavy old, heavy old bit of gear that, isn't it? That. This takes the shock out of when you're tooling. Right, let's get me tools. What tools am I going to use? Um, yeah, I use that half moon and and whatever. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish part one there while I get my tools out. Then I'm going to come back with part two and I'll show you how I'm doing my tooling. Bring you back shortly.